Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to go over the sad news that's happening in Tanzania. Thousands of Maasai people have had to flood their homes and escape into the bushes because the police is cracking down on them. But let me first show you how the Maasai people have responded before I go over why this is a ridiculously idiotic decision by the Tanzanian government. Now a section of Maasai leaders have filed an urgent case at the International Court of Justice, ICJ, to stop what they say is the unlawful attempts to evict the Maasais from their ancestral lands by the Tanzania authorities for game hunting purposes. Led by Narok North Member of Parliament, Moitalel Olekenta, uh, they termed the eviction of parcelists by Tanzanian authorities as inhuman. They also have called on President Uhuru Kenyatta to intervene on the matter. Beatrice Gatoni a teach with details of that story. A section of Maasai lawyers, leaders and elders from Narok have joined calls for a stop in the ongoing eviction of the members of the Maasai community from their ancestral land in Ngorongoro Conservation in neighboring Tanzania. Led by Narok North Member of Parliament, Moitale Lolekenta, Advocate Martin Olekamwaro, Narok Woman Representative Aspirant, Lydian Timama and Maasai Council of Elders Chairman Kelena Olenchoi. They have termed the ongoing eviction of pastoralists by Tanzanian authorities as inhuman. It is very sad and it's inhumane, especially when you know where this land will be used. They want to create a region for safari tourism and trophy hunting. And the people who are funding this are the United Arab Emirates based hotel business company which runs hunting excursions for the country's royal family and their guests. They will reportedly control commercial hunting in the area. So basically, they want to kick the Maasai out from their ancestor land so that a bunch of rich Arabs from the Middle East can come and kill lions and elephants. And this is the dumbest thing I've heard. Another excuse that they are using is the idea that they want to build a conservatory. You know, they want to save the nature. Save the nature from who? From the Maasai who have been living in this place for as long as we know. This idea that the Western countries created during the colonialism, where they're going to protect certain areas, usually those areas are the best parts of the country, but they want to exclude the local people in order to save the land and save the animals. We've been living with these animals and we've been living in this land for thousands of years. You cannot separate us from our own land and from our own lifestyle. But this is the idea that they have sold to our leaders. Majority of the African leaders, they actually believe this nonsense. And of course, they're getting paid handsomely. And of course, they want to make as much money as they can. So they will go along with it. But this is a ridiculous idea that you're going to kick the Maasai out so that people from Europe and Africa countries can come in and kill our lions. And by the way, tourists already visit this area. This area is used for tourism. So tourists can come there, but now they want to kick the Maasai out because they don't want the tourists to be seeing the Maasai. And they think that if they kick out the Maasai people, there'd be more space and more people could visit the place. And this is not the first time that the Tanzanian government is doing this. And this is not the only African government who is actively trying to achieve this goal. But this has to end. So there will be a lot of pushback for this. So I hope that the Tanzanian government will realize that this is not a good idea. And this is very unpopular. And even if you manage to kick out the Maasai out, people will still come for that land. Because people are not just going to walk away from their own land. So that a bunch of people can come in and kill our animals. No, it's not acceptable. But anyways, I hope you liked this video. And if you did, please do remember to subscribe, like, share, and comment. And try to raise as much awareness as you can about this issue. Thank you very much.